Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, and new Wi-Fi radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Today I have the CC Wi-Fi Internet Radio by C-Crane. I purchased this radio for a total of $119, shipped from Amazon. Here's the box. CC Wi-Fi Internet Radio. Oh yeah. I've been wanting these for a long time. I've been putting it off, putting it off. And it's not a portable radio, I know. <laughs> but it's a device that really intrigues me. And there is so much fun that can be had with this. So let's read some more. Works without turning your computer on. That's a beautiful thing. Now, that's what I wanted to get away from, turning my computer on, streaming a uh, what radio station that I was fading on my AM you know, radio. So yeah, this is nice. Um, search radio stations by location and genre. Compatible with real audio, blah, blah. 99 memory presets. Okay, includes remote control clock. Five alarm settings. That's really neat. And you'll see the size of this device. It's definitely a great bedside radio. And sleep timer. No subscription required. That's a big deal, too. You don't have to pay any money extra when you get this sucker, so it's awesome. All right, so down here you see some little things. Receiver, we'll talk about that. Pandora, if you guys don't know about that, it's pretty simple stuff. Side of the box, Ugh, if you can read that, line out jack for connecting to home receivers or that FM transmitter, too, that you saw. Headphone jack, a Wi-Fi signal strength indicator. Okay, requires broadband. All right, most people have that in their homes. No static, no fade. The solution of to reception problems. Sweet. All right. And then, yeah, this is cool. Wonderful stations never knew existed. And that's the main reason. It's like a, a device for exploration. You know, we have our shortwave portable radios. We have our, you know, AM radios. And it's always like a exploration expedition, you know, when you turn it on and you're hunting for that elusive station. You guys on April Fool's Day looking for pirate stations on shortwave. It was cool to, to watch and listen to. Here... I'm going to different countries, you know, different locations and finding, you know, odd stations that are almost like pirate stations in themselves. Uh, so, yeah, just really, really cool stuff. So let's kind of explore this together and see what we can get done. If we have to do multiple episodes, we will do multiple videos. It'll be fun. So, okay, I'll show you what's in the box. So in the box, we get a transformer to power the device. Now, this is a switching power supply, so you're going to want to keep this radio away from your AM, you know, high sensitivity radios, because this does put out a lot of noise, and so does the device. So, uh, but yeah, this is nice, long cord. That's what you need. No batteries required. <laughs> um, here we go, we got a little remote. It's a really basic remote. Uh, it's, you really need this, though, for your presets, if you're doing presets. And I kind of got a workaround where I'm trying to get away from doing presets. But we'll, you know, it's a pretty... Weird remote. It's not like it's real sensitive. You gotta like aim it just right to the radio. But you know, a remote's better than no remote. <laughs> so and it's small, easy to handle. Okay. So what else we get? We got a registration card. Everybody gets these. Fill it out. Get your one year warranty. Yep, everything has a one year warranty from. It's awesome. And the manual. I really picked this radio. It doesn't have a pretty color screen or anything. I like that. I like this utilitarian look. It's awesome, and I love this uh, knob, this tuning knob, which we'll get to. But this goes over a lot of information, uh, so don't get scared of this manual because there's a lot of options to this radio. Once you get into it, it gets pretty simple and easy to master. So, I mean, it just looks like, whoa, where do I start? Eh, forget about the remote. You can do everything from here except for accessing the remainder of your 97 presets. <laughs> but to be honest with you, you can do most everything you need right on the device itself, which is nice. Uh, and there's a few extra things you can set this up for, and we'll kind of talk over that a little bit. So we'll try to get a lot accomplished in this video. So cool. There's our manual. And then we have the device. This is going to be interesting because I'm going to kind of do it this way. And I'm going to lower this down a little bit. All right. So looking at the device, we'll do dimensions first. We are six and five eighths of an inch wide, four inches tall, and a depth of about four inches. Okay, looking at the radio, uh, nothing on the left hand side. The front of the radio, you see a speaker grill, and we have how big is that speaker? Two and a quarter inch speaker there. CC Wi-Fi. All right, I love it. 
Here we have an LCD display. It's uh, two lines, 16 characters each, and it's dot matrix style. We have some buttons, very easily labeled. Power, back, reply. This is an odd button, uh, but it's used in certain instances when you're doing certain tasks. You don't use this too often. Here we have a play, pause, stop, and then the one means preset one. So you have three presets you can access immediately on the radio itself. Here we have a back, here we have a forward. There's the little remote sensor window. Here we have the dial. It's indented, has a little click feel to it, and then you have selecting by pushing in. Nice. Right side of the radio, nothing. Top, nothing. Bottom, we have a label, so don't open it up. Warranty's void. FCC stuff, little rubber feet. Back of the radio, we have like a little dipped in handle type thing. C Crane's name, headphone jack, line out jack, and your DCN. So, all right, so give me a moment here, I'll get this set up, and we'll turn it on, and we'll get to have some fun and explore the CC Wi Fi. It's a really fun device, I'm enjoying every bit of this. So, give me a moment to extend my cord here, and we'll get playing this radio. So, yeah, I was really excited to get this. Um, I mean, I don't know how many times you guys have been listening to a station and you get to a point where you're like, how do I, you know, listen to this? It's fading all the time. And then it's like, oh, yeah, go on the computer. Well, then you go to the computer and you're sitting there on the computer. You know, that's distracting. Then you got those stupid pop-ups and everything. This you can keep by your bedside. That's going to do a little boot-up sequence. Let's see if we can get that on the camera. Let's see if we get too much light. All right, I'm using this little Tibdio box to prop this up. Okay, my wire. Wire's going to kind of hang out. All right, let's see if we can change this a little bit. Move this forward. Initializing network. Okay, connecting to my router. Could lower this down a little bit more, maybe. I think I'm going to change that backlight setting. It looks a little strong. I'll show you how to do that. So okay, so now you got a menu which is really cool. You can access by turning this jog wheel here. And what we're going to do, we'll just show you the ones as we go down stations, personal radio, podcasts, my stuff, media player, configure, alarm clock. Okay, so it stops there. We're going to go to configure, show you what's in there. We got Wi-Fi network settings, backlight setting. We're going to actually go in backlight setting right now. And this is active screen. We're actually going to turn this down where it's not blinding the camera. It looks good, doesn't it? All right. So that's nice. And you're able to change the active level, inactive level, and standby mode. Standby is when the unit's turned off. Inactive is when you haven't touched anything for 30 seconds. So pretty neat. Let's see where inactive is. Okay, inactive is four. All right, good. So let's go ahead and back. So you, that's how you back up. And then we can show you there's a clock set up, get registration. This is important, and we'll talk about that. A universal plug and play. That's so you can play. This. It uses a media player, which I'm going to show you. It's awesome. Reset the factory, network firmware, update. Looks like we have a Wi-Fi signal strength indicator. We'll hit that. Our Wi-Fi strength kind of fluctuates a bit. Okay. Good signal. And I'm kind of I'm about uh, 20 feet away from my router, too, you know, downstairs from it. So that's good. So that's what's in that little setting. So we'll go out of here. Now this is what you guys want to hear, I'm sure, is the stations and how to find them. So let's go ahead and we'll go right to the top, stations. So let's hit stations. So you hit this to select. And you have location you can pick, genre, search for a particular station. There's iHeartRadio. Now see, there's some stations that aren't on this network. Uh, looking for the basic station location, genre, search. Uh, these three are done with that Receiva technology, the RCE, sorry, RCIVA. It's a website you have to go to, and uh, you don't have to with this device. Uh, it just helps you make this device work better, and we'll talk about that. So, um, and then, but iHeartRadio is nice because it has stations that you can't find on that service, and it's built into this radio. You don't have to worry about going online at all, which is great. Same with Radio.com. Radio.com is built into this, so you can search your CBS radio stations. So I found a 1020 KDKA on here, the Radio.com, and that was great. I love that. So 
and in my WHAS Louisville, Kentucky through iHeartRadio. You know, so I can listen to my Coast to Coast. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have some fun. So location, let's pick, um, I don't know, Caribbean. Hey, hey. I've never tried this, so we're just going to explore together. Um, Aruba. Let's see what's in Aruba. Okay, we got Comeback Radio. Cool FM Aruba. Let's just let's, let's have fun. See, this is part of the exploration of Wi-Fi radio. Sometimes you'll pick a station and it won't work, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, there's ways around that, and that's that's going online, and I'll show you. So let's see what... Oh, we're getting refreshed already. Okay, so Mega, eight, Mega 88. Let's see what this is. You might look at the copyright on that. <laughs> so pretty cool so we got that st station playing and if we wanted to save it we'd grab the remote here you know and we would uh, hit uh, store and then we're going to hit this uh, double dash one here oh, you got to go pretty quick okay so store and then double dash come on See, I'm not going to aim this at the... All right, I'm going to have to do this like off-camera, guys. Store. So you got to aim it right at it. Okay, so we'll put it under 33. There we go. And it'll assign the preset 33. So if, if you're going to be using this remote and doing that, that's great. So you don't have to use a computer. Just have a log sheet so you know what 99 stations you picked out. Otherwise, you're going to forget. You're not going to know, what, which one was that again? So, yeah. It, it, this works in a pinch if you don't want to touch a computer at all when you get your device. This is awesome. So we're gonna go in back and we're gonna go explore some more. Let's go ahead and explore, I love this. So we're gonna go stations again. And we are gonna to go to iHeart. So we'll search iHeart here. And they got local, search, genre, location. Let's go location. And I'll show you the Louisville station. So here we go, we got different ones in Louisville. Quite a few, actually. <laughs> so I was like, come on, where's my station? They have quite a few. There it is, WHAS 840. So click that, and then we'll connect to that. And we can play that a little longer without worrying about copyright. All your favorite music. This is Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. This is Mick Jones, a foreigner, on iHeartRadio. And iHeartRadio is all your favorite stations. So you're going to get ads. It's pretty normal. Plus, iHeartRadio is free. Download the app today. All your favorite music. All your favorite stations. See the volume. All free. iHeartRadio. You'll stay up to date all day at work when you listen to news radio. So we are, you get an idea how that works? There's just so many stations. You can go crazy. It's <laughs> amazing. That's just in Louisville. Look at all that. Let's go to one of my... Uh, let's see here. We got... We're going to go to Missouri. Since I know some lives in Missouri. I know he's watching this. And then you can choose the town. There's St. Louis. A fourth day of teacher protest play and it shows all the iHeart stations in St. Louis. One day after a rally outside the state capitol. Do right by our students and pass more revenue. That came after state lawmakers passed Rock, the tax Christian, hike, looks money like. for schools and teachers. And neighboring FM Kansas stations. Top Republicans in the state Senate Got some HD channels, which is pretty cool. Until the legislature limited the power of judges to decide education okay. spending. I've now dropped that demand. That is a two and a so half. So gives you an idea how to select stations by Jeff location. Let's go to the genre. Increase. He supports a plan. That would boost spending on schools by $520 million over five years. Brian Clark, ABC News. Police say the okay, let me just back this up real quick. Shooting at YouTube's headquarters in San Bruno, California. Go. Went to a shooting range before the attack and had a grudge against YouTube. Police are 
I didn't know about this. Nassim Ogdam's car and her home in Southern California. Here in the Bay Area, they're searching her social media history. Huh. But San Bruno Police Chief Ed Barberini says they're certain this was not a case of terrorism and came down to a woman who was angry at YouTube. At this point, the investigation is the suspect was upset with policies and practices of YouTube. Mainly that she believed her videos were being censored because they were not showing up. Updated overnight forecast. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist. Let's go back. Cold one out there tonight. Turn this volume off. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you personal radio. I have my Pandora, and then uh, we're going to show you, let's see, my stuff. So my stuff, this is pretty cool. Now, when you get this radio, you have the option of registering this product online, free, uh, through the uh, Receive Us website, rciva.com, and it's a British website, and they uh, are really, it's really neat. It's all those stations that you can search for. Except for iHeart and then the the uh, Radio.com one, so you can the other browse feature with all the other stations, and you can go on there and you can search through different locations, genres, and you can click uh, what which uh, station you want. And the cool thing about that is you don't have to worry about presets, you don't have to worry about using this to access them all or have a log sheet because once you go on that account, it saves everything on that account and automatically sends it to your radio. So I'm gonna show you that. So when you go to my stations here, let's see, I'll show you where that was again. So under my stuff, you select that. Under my stations, you're going to see these weird stations. Yeah, well, I put these in on the website, and I'm actually downloaded the radio, which is really nice. So here we go. I went to Austria last night, and I was listening to some Austrian stations. Austrian rock. Buffering. And then I found, let's see, how was it, France? And I got some French radio. I don't know if I can dance with this. I think I'll be okay with that Canada now. There you go. See us. ZM. There's Zoomer Radio. You can listen to Zoomer Radio. And you can pick the different streams, MP3, or the higher quality streams. MP3 it saves you space and if you got a data plan. So so sweet to have that. <laughs> But this was, yeah, really neat to do. So if you, yeah, you sign up for that account on the uh, receive a um, website, and then you can go ahead and organize all your stations. And then when you go to your grease even, and you go to your machine, you can just go right to these stations. And I'm actually in folders that you name. I put those folders in there so you can organize them. Got some Brazil here. Yeah, this is just a fun exploration. So yeah, if you, if you get this radio, definitely register it on that site. Like I said, it's free. You guys have got a computer already, I'm sure. It's worth doing. And then you actually can check, test each station while you're on to see if you like the music or not. And it's a lot easier and quicker to get the stations listed and organized and then for your radio. So, all right. So what I had fun with was, okay, so yeah, personal radio. That's the My Pandora. So you need to have that receive a uh, account open for you to add My Pandora. Once you do that, you can add My Pandora, and then it'll automatically let you put that information in so it can, what do they call that, bond the two. And you can actually look at stations you create. So I have David Gilmore, Metallica, Fuel Radio, Roger Waters. As you can tell, I'm a Pink Floyd fan. Um, so yeah, this stuff is just great. Can't beat it. Alright, so and then we have presets. We usually go right back. Let's see, go back here. Let's see, I probably gotta go to my stations. Okay, preset. Come on. I guess I gotta be on one of their stations. Alright, let me get out of this. 
Stations. Okay. Oh, you know what? It reset when I unplugged it. <laughs> so yeah, unplugging it does that, I guess. So anyway, here we go. We're going to go ahead and... So we don't have to worry about that. Another fun feature is my stuff. Uh, no, media player. Here it is. Media player. So everybody has a computer, and I have a small one upstairs set up as a media player for all my music. And this actually can play back from there, which is amazing. Um, so we have the servers, and we can pick which computer we want. I'm going to pick this one. And then we have, we can search through all my music. I'm going to go down to folders. Cool thing here is go down to shared music, come iTunes, radio shows, which is really cool, and Radio Totterbert. <laughs> so we can uh, jam out. Getting dirty. <laughs> And to get to your um, menu real quick, you can just hit the button, the knob in. So you can go ahead and go to your stations. We never did a genre. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Let me show you what's on there. Quite a bit. <laughs> Reggae. Yeah, shortwave radio. That's cool. <laughs> Let's go here what's on shortwave. So the neat thing about shortwave is there's not much on there, but I actually save that on my stuff. So my stuff, my stations. WRMI. See what they're doing. Probably religious stuff. Okay. Spanish. <laughs> so we just jump from my music server to a shortwave broadcast. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed out my presets aren't working. Oh, there we go. Now they're working. All right. So, yeah. I guess it would be a certain mode to use these. Such an education in the art of distinguishing between the proper and improper use of symbols could be inaugurate. Famous station out of New York City. Classical station. Zoomer. So I can be home in bed with my face wash and skincare routine done by 1132. Keep that in mind. Yeah, so this radio is amazing. So let me just back it up here. Actually, let's see. I thought I had a party station from Greece. <laughs> Oh 
All right, so load this up. You guys, get an idea of some fidelity. It's got some good oomph to the little speaker. Of course, it sounds really good with my FM transmitter transmitting to the super radio back there. <laughs> little extra bass. <laughs> So yeah, CC Wi-Fi radio from C Crane is just amazing. As you saw, all those options uh, I touched on most I can. Like I said, you have 99 presets. You don't have to register this product to, to use those 99 presets and to go on there and go on to iHeartRadio.com to do your CBS stations, iHeart stations, and all the other stations that you can find in the world. Um, but if you do register this online, which I definitely recommend since you have a computer, I'm sure, because you have Wi-Fi. Um, go on there, go on that receive a site, register your thing. It's real simple, you just put this little serial number in, boom, you're done. And then you start organizing your your folders and your radio stations the way you like it. So you have my stations, so you don't have to use this little jabber too much for presets. And then, uh, setting up your uh, server. So it's real simple, uh, just do a search, like if you have a computer that you let run all the time, um, you can actually put all your music on there and you can act as a server and this can stream from it, which is just great, which I'm doing right now. Um, and I also have all my radio shows. So I know those guys that are into classical radio are going to love using this because you're able to play all your radio shows from here, you know, next to your bedside, wherever you're at, couch side. And you can queue them up. You can pause, play, stop. Uh, you can repeat. There's a lot of functions. So... Just an amazing device. I'm enjoying it. The exploration of finding foreign stations, um, local stations in different areas, is just amazing. Um, listening to news in New York City without the radio fading is, is a big bonus. Let's see what else. We covered everything, I think, on this. Um, you don't have to worry about the reply key that was used for Pandora and Receiva. You know, when you're adding stations, I believe. You don't have to worry about that. A adding stations manually. That means if you find a station that Receiva doesn't have, but you can stream, you can actually add it to the service so they can make it on there so you can use it on your radio. So that's nice to know. Same with podcast streams. I didn't get into that, but uh, I'm not really a podcast listener, but you can do that with your podcast. All right, let's see. And um, yeah, the display is really nice. Very simple, very basic. And I like that. Keeps it real simple. Okay, final thoughts on the C Crane CC Wi Fi. Um, if you're looking for a Wi-Fi enabled playback device, um, looking for radio stations, this is definitely gets a buy for me. It's 120 bucks. There's a lot of other ones out there for 70, 80, 90 different brands. There's the Grace or Gracie, I believe, um, Ocean Blue. There's some others, and I actually got another one coming up. So we're going to show you with this one how it compares to other ones, so you kind of have an idea. So just going, oh, you just got one Thunderbird. Well, I'm going to have more than one, so you guys can get a feel for how these devices look and operate and pick out what you like. Because um, the one I have now that we're going to review in the future actually has a color screen. I must have lost connection there. Um, a color screen uh, with two speakers, one on each side. And it's more of a, a clock radio style. So let's see what happened there. Let's, let's get Radio Totterbird back on. Don't know why it stopped. No. Load it up. <laughs> Stopped. Okay. So I can get my preset going. Okay, it's not going to let me hear. Okay. Radio Tidebird shut down by the man. <laughs> my wife must be on doing something. That's another thing. If somebody's like streaming hard on like a video game or something, you might run into trouble. Darn it. <laughs> so, yeah, I can go to stations here. And yeah, this is just, just great, great radio. You got your news. Yeah, I use this to listen to Coast to Coast at night. <laughs> so, yep. See, so if you love the review, big thumbs up. If you love the device, big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you love these radios uh, and you want to hear more about them. I put a radio review out at night. And like I said, I have another one of these coming out uh, probably in a week or so to give you an idea how this compares to a different one. And we'll probably re-explore this radio since I was only able to do so much. And uh, yeah, comment what you think about the CC Wi-Fi. 
Would you be in the market for something like this? Does this interest you at all? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.